with us here tonight. Right now, we toss it to John Bukshambi and Fran Priscilla in Lubbock. Dave O'Brien, you're an amazing man. Thank you so much. And here in Lubbock, it's Texas Tech off to the early 3 0 lead. John Chambi, Fran Priscilla, and Chris Budden. No Kevin McCuller, one of the leading candidates for player of the year in the conference. So when you're looking at Kevin McCuller now, he is going to have missed three of their last five games. Yes, he's got a sore knee. I was watching the Oklahoma-Kansas game last night, John, and he was rubbing that knee on the bench in that game. So this has been chronic for him. Say the game I remember was at home against Cincinnati, watching him hobble around a bit. So you take a look at the... Tech starting five with Isaacs, Toussaint, Walton, Williams, and Washington. Washington will be tasked with limiting Dickinson. And on the Kansas side, we mentioned Timberlake is in the lineup. Adams, Murphy, Harris, Washington inside, flips it up, flips it in. Well, the well traveled Warren Washington, fourth school now. It's really been good this year, and he plays with great energy for a big guy. Oregon State, Nevada, Arizona State, and now a Red Raider. Washington on Dickinson. Dickinson backing down, right hand. That rims off, out of bounds. And it'll be Kansas basketball. And now they're going to get together, and after Roger Ayers and... Marcus Pettigrew got together. It's Texas Tech ball. There's Washington at the other end. Yep, he's uh, he's really, really been solid inside. He rebounds, he blocks shots, and he's pretty effective with that little jump. And if you could get Hunter Dickinson in foul trouble tonight, Grant McCaslin would love that all night long. Granny at the defensive end. Washington did good job not letting Dickinson receive the ball deep. I agree. No question. Got to keep him from trying to catch it right underneath the rim. McMillan buries one from three. Might be their best athlete, Chance McMillan, as he comes off the bench. Crossover, Harris. Nice Dickinson cut. finds Furphy for the throwdown. Really good cut right there by Johnny Furphy. Good delivery. If you're going to overplay Furphy because he can shoot the three, then he's got to put that pressure on the D by back cutting. Yeah, Furphy's been cold. He, he's missed all 10 three point attempts in his last two games. Well, how about Dickinson? Two of 20 behind the arc. Six gets the hand off Washington back to Washington and they get a foul on Kansas Let's go back and watch Johnny Furphy. He's done a lot of good things for Kansas Look at that back cut right there right behind McMillan and if you're gonna overplay him like McMillan did he just puts the pressure on the defense by back cut. So Warren Washington at the line the Grand transfer. 59% from the free throw line. Again, we're seeing older and older guys. He turns 24 on March 3rd. Welcome to college basketball, yeah, man. It's you different. Know, yep. Get old and stay old is the new mantra. Well, the thing that's so interesting is how it's changed, for lack of a better phrase, at the high major level. I felt like for such a long time it was the one and dones at the Power 5 schools and the teams were young and the mid-major schools had all the older guys. Well, and transfers used to be somebody else's problem. That's not the case anymore. It's free agency. 9-4 Texas Tech. Good position. Dickinson got doubled. Nice move. The reverse wouldn't go. Well, they have to keep going to Dickinson without McCuller, but uh, so far, so good. Billy goes baseline, kick out, Tucson. No Tucson. Knocks it down, timeout, Kansas. It is 12-4. Texas Tech off to the fast start, and the crowd is loving it. A love story. This is kind of a love story overall. Yeah, he wanted to get to Lubbock because of a girl, Cece. It was his high school best friend that he always had a crush on. She played soccer here. So he came to work for a camp under James Dickey. Then Dickey offers him a spot on his staff. A year goes by. Grant never professes his love. He gets stuck in one of those West Texas mud storms. He's sitting on the side of the road and he says, I'm going to call her. So he calls her and he says, I've loved you for a long time. And she goes, I have too. 
four kids and a marriage later, and look at them. <laughs> That's pretty great. He did confess that when he went over to the house the first time when he took the job with Texas Tech, he took the shirt off and did 100 push-ups before he rang the doorbell. He wanted to look buff. That's right. Yep. And he is such a great fit on the South Plains. He's uh, a quality man. He's a great coach. And fits this place like a glove. Harris, look up ahead, lob, and off the glass and in for K.J. Adams. K.J. is critical tonight. You're gonna, you know Dickens is going to get a lot of touches, but I've said K.J. Adams is as underrated a player as there is in the country. Great passer to jump through the roof. How about four assists a game, John, from the four spot? Isaacs kicks that one, McMillan. And a fight for the loose ball. Eventually, Timberlake has it. Kansas, we mentioned, shorthanded. No Kevin McCuller. Juan Harris, a little hobbled with that injured ankle. Well, this is just poor transition right here. Take a look. Now, we've seen this a lot. And we throw it up at the rim, and uh, Adams catches it. And now he'll shoot a couple free throws. K.J. Adams, last year became the most improved player in the Big 12. I joked the other day on our broadcast that can you win it two straight years? Because he continues to get better. I think he's played himself into like player, you know, all-conference all situation. I don't know if he's first team, but he's certainly among those first couple teams. Talked about him as a passer. So he leads the Big 12 at field goal percentage. But Fran, he has more assists this year, 82, than his first two years combined. Because of the way this team plays, they have four playmakers, not only three tonight, but they use him in what we call that short roll, John, and pick and roll, and he's so great at making decisions in four versus three basketball. Four-point game, McMillan here, as Adams pops out on him, speaking of Pop Isaacs, and a foul on the floor. Meanwhile, Himself, 21st season at Kansas. He's won 17 regular season titles. Basketball Hall of Fame. And of course, twice they've won the national title. They were preseason number one this year. Yeah, yeah. He gets better and better every year. And I don't think he's tired of coaching. I think Kansas fans are going to see him for a foreseeable future. Washington, couple of fakes. Oh, look at the block there. As Brown threw it back. Kick opposite. McMillan catch and shoot. And Furphy flies in for the board. And now it's El Marco Jackson. Be interesting to see how many and who else plays for Kansas again as they are a team that even when at full strength, they are not especially deep. No, their starters the other night played close to 40 minutes. Harris looking for some help. Gets it to Furphy. Shot clock's under 10. Harris probing, probing inside. Oh, off man. the glass and good. Wow. He went underneath the shot blocker. Really well done. Yeah, well described. A yep. nifty move by Dewan Harris. We used to say that was a playground move, but nobody plays on the playground anymore. Kansas wants to eliminate three-point shots tonight. Texas Tech hit their first three. Inside, and Washington gets fouled. Watch DeWan right here. He's going to go up and sneak it right underneath the shot blocker. He's expecting a floater. And he scoops it in there. A little PhD, proper hand development. Good spin off the glass. And this young man is in his fifth year, John, but he's got one more year to play. And he's going to be hard to replace. He originally made his way to Kansas in part because of the connection to the Brown family, Parker and Christian. Mom, mom told Bill Self, this kid's been staying at my house all summer, playing with my boys. He's pretty good. Signed at Missouri State yeah. initially. Yep. I remember his red shirt year. I, I honestly thought he was a walk -up. And Bill said, that kid over there, he's a freshman, going to be pretty good. Oh! He's better than pretty good he defensive has. player of the year in the league last year. The 6'2 senior with a long wingspan. John, he, six, six. he started on a national championship team. Think about that. Adams 
puts it on the floor off the glass a little bit strong Washington pulls down the rebound Oh boy Dillon lost the handle for a second they'll go possession arrow and it belongs to the Red Raiders More college basketball coming at you on Tuesday, 7 Eastern. It's number 7 North Carolina against Syracuse. And then at 9 Eastern over in the SEC, number 22 Kentucky taking on Ole Miss. Well, I watched that Kentucky Gonzaga game, John, and they definitely have to tighten up that defense. It's very much unlike John Calipari's teams. They're young. When I watch their big guys, they just don't have any experience defensively. First really good win for Gonzaga this year, at least one of them. Absolutely. And they say offensive foul. So the push off, it'll go the other way. Kansas basketball. Texas, Texas Tech got off to a terrific start. And let's take a look right here. Watch the left arm right now. And that's a good call. That's an easy call. Some of the times as the offensive player, you just have to be mindful at least of how it looks, yeah. right? Yeah, and there's a referee about 20 feet away staring at that play. Jackson, the freshman, knocks it down to Marco Jackson. And I think, John, we've seen this a couple times this year with McCull McCuller out. You have to step up. I don't care if it's Timberlake, Jackson, Murphy. Yep. You got to step up, man. You're at Kansas. Man. You're playing for Bill Self. Time to step up. An 8 0 Kansas run has us knotted at 12 at United Supermarkets Arena. It's gotten a little quiet. Murphy rebounds the Isaacs miss. And the Jayhawks a chance to take the lead. Adams up ahead off the window. In and out. And Dickinson tried to tip it. Lost it. And then Jackson knocked it away. It'll be Red Raider basketball when we return. Our under 12 timeout. And we're tied at 12. So that first Tuesday... It'll be West Virginia, UCF, Oklahoma State, and Cincinnati, and then Texas Tech would get a bye awaiting the winner of the top side of that bracket. <laughs> Kerwin Walton drills one. This guy, Kerwin Walton, he sat the bench at North Carolina as a sophomore when they went to the Final Four, left dead figuratively last year here, and he has had a phenomenal year. The best three-point shooter in the country right now. Really took advantage when he got more playing time due to the injury to Devin Cambridge. Harris inside, flips it up, Walton rebounds. I'd say the Big 12 tournament with 14 team hits going to be nuts. John, forget the quarterfinals. Did you see the uh, second round? Up, Isaacs knocks one down. Remember, John. These guys hit their first three threes, went on a little snipe, hit the last two. Watch out. Adams looking for some help. Red Raiders leading it by six. Dickinson's been quiet. Looks opposite to Furphy. That missed everything. It was a great contest by Isaacs. That's why he missed that shot. Raiders have made five three-pointers, five of eight from beyond the arc. Oh, nice. This time it. Washington. And Al Harris, full head of steam, gives it to Furphy in the dunk. Johnny Furphy loves to run the floor. And if he runs that way, he's going to get rewarded. Back in 30 seconds, four team strengths. Their last in threes made and attempted per game. Furphy, when he has been right, has given them that added three-point shooting dynamic. Yes, 41% amongst the other things he does. Washington hands off. Isaacs. Walton catch and shoots. And Washington the rebound.
Cooper will go for Darian Williams. Williams, we got the scoring started in this one. And it's 21-14. Tough matchup because they got four shooters out there. Dickinson backing down. Harris wide open. Out of bounds, and it'll be Texas Tech basketball. Well, Bill Self's arguing, but he's fortunate because KJ Adams. They missed the shove in the back, and the ball was tipped out of bounds. Take a look. Watch KJ now. Little shove. You'll see the. There's a reason why a guy leaves his feet and ends up three feet in front. Regardless, KJ lucky that was not a foul. It's not handling here. Another eight and a half to go here. First half of Texas Tech with the lead by seven. Williams. Now Tucson will try and buries it. Seventh three of the night. Texas Tech doing it from downtown. Halfway through the first half. So the three-point line has been the difference. They actually do not have a point in the paint so far in this one. Raiders third in the league as a team at 38%. Baylor leads the Big 12 in three-point field goal percentage. The lead is 10. Adams. Jackson wide open. And Pop Isaacs is hobbling a bit. There's a lot of traffic on that last... Uh play in the lane watch the drive right here Heisich reaches in well, they've got a knee on knee yeah not that you ever want a knee on knee but I would say if you were doing a knee on knee lottery KJ Adams would be about the last guy to play. there's no question about it he's built like a tank great lacrosse player imagine him with a stick in his hand Walton tried to Feed it inside, pass intercepted, Kansas the other way, looking to chip away at a 10-point deficit. Good hands. Red Raiders have done a good job on the defensive end. They've not been able to establish Dickinson, the Jayhawks. He is scoreless so far. Timberlake kicks to Harris. Couldn't hit. Good ball and movement. Foul, foul underneath. underneath. Yep. We got that one on Robert Jennings. Well, Jennings is undersized. He's played a lot of good basketball lately. The sophomore. Take a look right here. They get hung up. Uh, I don't know. Could have gone either way on that one. I think they're going to look at it. Well, they are giving you know, it. Uh, it's a foul on Jennings. Oh, oh no, no, no. That's no. a foul. There you go. Yeah. yeah. It's the way I saw it. It didn't look like they called it that way. You know what I've seen the last week or two? More hook and holds. Have you noticed that? Yes. More hook and holds. Absolutely. Right? Got to get that back out of the game. Harris with the steal. Walton the other way. Carries it. Eight three-pointers in the first half. They're eight of 11. Or make that eight of 12. Dickinson finally gets on the board his first two points Williams was thinking about double teaming Dickerson, but if he does that he leaves KJ Adams open on the glass So he hesitated a mismatch he's a I don't know if he's a power forward or a power wing but he can hurt you a lot of different ways that was a mismatch against the guard Dickinson inside Adams with the rebound Adams gives off Dickinson and that goes off 
Hunter Dickinson, ice cold here in the early going. One for five from the floor. Texas Tech leading it by 13. Women's basketball comes your way Thursday night. And a good matchup number one, South Carolina taking on Tennessee in Knoxville. That's Thursday, 7 Eastern on ESPN. And good to see Pop Isaacs back in after banging knees with KJ Adams. I would say knee to knee is a lot better than a lot of knee type injuries. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of that. Almost like a Charlie horse. There's that two man game there. Good app, but not tonight. Adams couldn't secure the pass. And they turn it over. Isaac Snell. How about Kansas? Close to in on time to go with another 16 points and one. And Washington will go to the line. Pop Isaacs in that pick and roll. He noticed that Dickinson was not watching Washington. So he just lays it up there like he puts it on a tray. And Washington gets behind. Watch his eyes. Great vision by Pop Isaacs right there. Perfect pick and roll point guard play. And a good job of disengaging by Washington by getting behind Dickinson. Washington continues to struggle from the line. He is one for five from the free throw line. Harris tracks it down. Under five to go first half. And Texas Tech enjoying a 15-point advantage. Harris, that rims off. And the Red Raiders the other way as Williams has it. Now Isaacs. Hesitation at the basket that's blocked. And now Furphy looking to push. Timberlake. And he buries that one. They needed it. Nicholas Timberlake. He played a season high 31 minutes on Saturday in his first start as a Jayhawk and had eight points. He had eight points. Himself was not happy with that last 25 seconds. Yeah. But I'm telling you, this kid had a great career at Towson. He needs to just have amnesia. He's a much better player than he's played this year for Kansas. He treats every shot like it's the most important shot of his life. Shot clock under 10. Williams pulls up and hits. You talk to coaches around the league and they give this kid a lot of credit. He does a lot of dirty work. Murphy with Walt, not him. Furphy off balance and he'll go to the line. Johnny Furphy will shoot two. All Texas Tech here in this one. In this one, eight threes made by Texas Tech, second most of a half this year. Hunter Dickinson has been quiet, just one of six from the floor. And consider unranked teams in the Big 12 have taken down a top 10 team eight times. Eight and three against a top 10 team in the league. Every coach I've talked to, John, has said it's nearly impossible to win on the road right now. Impossible is a, a hy hy hyperbolic, I get it. But the crowds at these Big 12 arenas are, are second to none. It's just been incredible. Hyperbolic, huh? I like that. Somebody's been going through their SAT flash for us. Yeah. Yeah. Brandon Kaslin. Frustrated at the moment. Kansas with the ball down by 12. John Chabi, Fran for Chile, Chris Button here in Lovell. Adams inside, off the glass, too strong. And the other way, and Darian Williams up ahead to McMillan. Now KJ's not going to miss those shots very often. There's some good hustle and more hustle. Washington to McMillan who puts it in. That looked like a turnover, but we told you Washington's energy is elite and he made something into nothing or vice versa i should say now, kj's missed a bunch of shots he normally does not miss timberlake inside score it and one and he'll go to the line let's go back the other end this looks like a turnover by washington you see that ball's poked loose and then he gets it back and they wind up getting an easy basket because of that energy we talked about
There's Timberlake now. Knocks it down and completes the three-point play. John, they love everything about Nick Nick Timberlake in practice. He's a he's a hard-nosed guy. He makes shots. He hasn't been able to put it all together yet, but tonight's one of those nights. They need him to be the, the guy that they recruited out of South State. Basel University. Shot clock on the tenant Toussaint picked up his dribble, needs some help. Toussaint hoists it up. And Adams pulls it down. Closing in on two to go first half, 11 point. Texas Tech lead. Going to five out right now. It's always two man on this side. Take a look. Adams wide open. Off the glass. Wouldn't fall. KJ Adams, who leads the league in field goal percentage, has been ice cold in this one. He's one for eight from the floor. He makes 51% of his mid range jump shots. So this is an, an, an anomaly tonight. And a night where they really need his offense. Johnny Perthy, I'll tell you, he's an underrated defender. Inside and off the glass. Two more for Darian Williams. He's got a dozen. And remember, he was the Mountain West Freshman of the Year last year at Nevada. And assuming they have him for two more years after this, he's going to be a cult hero here. Timberlake knocks down another three. He's feeling it here tonight. I'm happy for the young man because he's throwing caution to the wind tonight. Quite honestly, it's now or never for him with his Kansas career, and it's good to see him deliver early. His dad was a terrific player at Boston University, hard-nosed guy. Oh, that jumper wouldn't fall. A rare miss from three for Texas Tech tonight. Kansas back in this game, John. The floater would go, but he's fouled, and they get the foul on Warren Washington. And that will be his first. So the senior, you could see him kind of hobbling to the free throw line. Chris Button in our open documented how he rolled his ankle on Saturday. The left ankle is what the market. And this is a young man that won a, he won a state title at Rockbridge in Columbia, Missouri. He's won an NCAA title, numerous Big 12 titles. And Bill Self has always said about this kid, he never questions his toughness. One of the Kansas walk-ons, Wilder Evers has checked in. He got a dunk in a game recently. And a tremendous practice player. Brother Stone plays baseball at Kansas. So hold for the last shot. Red Raiders by nine. Tucson. Hesitating. Inside. Hangs. And hits. No shot. Well, that's only that they're not in the bonus yet. Good job by Texas Tech to create a mismatch so that Toussaint could drive Evans because Kansas switches at four spots. And now you need a 2.1 second play. And I don't think they've used their timeout. Yes, they did use their timeout. Texas Tech. To use it or lose it. This is what we call special. This is like special teams in football now. Williams to inbound, 2.1. Walton and had it hit the underside of the backboard. And Bill Self's team down by nine at the break. Grant McCaslin got to be happy, especially with the way his team shot it from three eight. Three, that would certainly help. And that Honor Dickinson needs to be able to get inside. Taking too many shots from 20 and, and 15 feet from the rim, and he's got to be able to get inside more. Nick Timberlake with a good first half for Kansas as he went three for three from the floor and had nine points. Jayhawks will start off the second half.
with the basketball as Timberlake inbounds and away we go nine point Red Raider advantage Here we go right off the bat high low if they can get it And he forced that That's knocked away fight for the loose ball and they'll go possession arrow it belongs To Texas Tech and time now to check out our Capital One rewarding performance and we mentioned the three-pointers, 8 of 14 for the Red Raiders, two-pointers, 6 of 12, and then holding Kansas to 35% from the floor. And will unranked teams in the Big 12 against the top 10 team move to 9 and 3? We'll see. Yeah, John, it's hard to win on the road in any league, but this league has so much balance and so such a good crowd atmosphere. Look at that right there. That's the crowd atmosphere. The lob to Washington off the feed from Williams. And the Red Raiders leading it by 11. Oh, you know how I feel about the first three minutes of the second half. Whoever's more dialed in is going to gain a huge advantage. Timberlake lost the handle, had it knocked away. Toussaint. Out of bounds, it'll be Kansas basketball. Yeah, you'll see right here, they just throw it up to Warren Washington, pick and roll. Dickinson, that's the second time tonight. He's very slow to get back. And, John, I'm just going to tell you, he's an All-American player. I love the way he plays. But that play right there is a reason NBA teams are not excited about it. The good news is, that means he might be back next year for Kansas. Timberlake, in and out. And Washington. Might have rolled his ankle or hurt his foot at the very least. And he's hobbling. Warren Washington. Seven points. Six rebounds. You'll see right here as he boxes out and then goes after this rebound. He comes down. Very ginger. And something with that right foot. This is a guy that missed the Cincinnati game with the flu. This team has been hit by the flu for the last week. Yeah, even their head coach, Grant McCaslin, is really under the weather. Tucson. Shot clock under 10. Isaacs. Isaacs got to fire it up. And Adams. Pulls it down. Nice. Adams, Timberlake puts it home. That's why. That's why you average four assists a game, and you're a power forward. Rebound it, push it yourself, make a play. Time out of the court. Able, the former baseball player from Canada, Zach Eady, the favorite. You see how the numbers compare with what Hunter Dickinson has put up this year. Yeah, Hunter's an, an, an All-American candidate. Zach Eady, barring injury, is the two-time. National Player of the Year, Johnny, reminds me of Yao Ming. Remember how good he, Yao was? Well, and he gets fouled as Furphy commits the foul. You'll see that happen when there's a baseline screen. The defender guarding the shooter panics and does everything he can to get through the screen. And oftentimes he's over-exuberant. That's the case right there for the young man from Melbourne who just turned 19, John. There was NBA buzz about three weeks ago. It's died down a little bit. He'll do what's best for him. I think he's best coming back next year as a sophomore. Potential All-American candidate. This team will come back. A lot of these guys are back. He has turned into a BMOC in Lawrence. No question about it. Oh, Grab a seat. Marco Jackson checks in. The man at the line for Texas Tech is Kerwin Walton. We mentioned earlier how Devin Cambridge suffered a season-ending injury in their game December 6th against Omaha. There he is. So that season-ending knee injury. Well, Walton wasn't playing all that much, wasn't impacting the game all that much. He's now started 16 in a row. He's played really well. He really has, John. He was playing nine minutes a game before Cambridge's injury. Now he's a mainstay. Gets a foul. And it'll be on Joe Toussaint. Very good crew tonight. We haven't mentioned them much. The officials, that's always a good sign. Ray Matilli, Marcus Pettigrew, yeah. Roger Ayers. Right. 
Got to get this guy going a big though at some point. Adams inside. Out to Harris. Wide open. And way off. Texas Tech leading it by 11. Trying to knock off the number six team in the country. Swings it, shot clock's under 10. Toussaint, the kid from New York City. Not a dribbling. Washington with the jumper. And he's hobbling. Warren Washington is very gingerly moving back on defense. That right foot seemed to be the issue, or ankle. Jackson, free throw line. Line drive jumper goes. Second jumper for El Marco tonight, the former McDonald's All American. And he's another guy that must step up in this next five weeks. I think we're a month away today from the start of the Big 12 tournament. Folks, it's probably sold out already, but if you're a basketball junkie, you've got to get to the Big 12 tournament at least once in your life. Williams drains it over the big fella Dickinson. Gary and Williams, a 15-point night. Good find. As Dickinson got the feed from Adams and then had the shot blocked. And Hunter Dickinson will go to the line. They have done a great job denying Dickinson post position. And he's been posting up far, far away from the hoop. That time he got good position. He and did. Found it. You remember what Grant McCaslin told us today? We can't let him get two feet in the paint. Somebody was busy making balloons at the half. Hunter Dickinson eligible to come back another year and play for Kansas. I would not be surprised if that's a decision he makes. Dickinson knocks that one down. The balloons didn't bother him that time. John, as we get closer to 16, and I had a nine-point lead at the half, I used to tell my team, let's come back and let's be up. First TV timeout. Let's not be up nine. Let's be up 12 or 13. Let's not give away the nine points. Let's 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 elongate the lead. That's another Boston College word. Let's elongate the lead. Right now they're at 13. <laughs> Isaac's here with Adams out on him. McMillan left hand spins it home. That's as pretty a pass as you'll see in the Big 12 this year. Great one hand delivery by Isaacs. And the deep position, but then had it knocked away by Williams. We're at United Supermarkets Arena in Texas Tech enjoying a 15 point advantage. Watch Isaacs. He's always got his head up in pick and roll. And Williams knocks down another. Gary and Williams with 18. He's knocked down four threes. What a game tonight for the Northland. He has a coaching philosophy of coaching backwards. What does that mean? You coach your team to be at their best for the final game of the season. And a couple of years ago, he changed how he shows film. He doesn't show them negative plays, only positive ones. Or if there is a negative, what the play should look like. He said it's made a huge difference in how his teams have looked. He goes, I'm a guy, though, that likes to go negative. So I had to put the people around me that continues to tell me, hey, reminder, you got to show them positivity in order for their brain to think that way. Williams, touch pass. And over the backboard. Well, and he's got a terrific staff, Chris Budd, and he's got... Uh, a guy named Dave Smart right there. You see the ball gentleman. Well, there's two of them, but the, the gentleman second from the end. He is the winningest coach in the history of Canada. 13 Canadian college championships. Teams go up to the USA Division One teams go up to Canada in the summer. Usually came away with an L. He joined Grant, Grant McCaslin this year. And a terrific addition. Matt Prayers on that there. You see Kellen Buffington there. And those guys, Chris, to your point, very upbeat, positive guys. Yeah, the messaging when we spoke with Grant McCaslin today to Chris Button's point, the idea is you want a positive, active message of do this, as opposed to the message being don't do this, That's right. don't do that. 
don't do this, keeping it positive and active in terms of the coaching. Basically like Scott Dustin, center producer. Six underneath, scoop wouldn't go. McMillan able to save it, and Texas Tech sets it back up. And has been going their way. Yeah, great hustle play, John. Crash in the glass. Toussaint, step back, wouldn't fall. Timberlake, skies for the board. No Dickinson right now, so they're going to have to manufacture offense. And there's nobody out there other than Adams, who's been a go-to guy this season. Shot clock under 10. Harris looking for some space, going to work, puts it up with four. Darian Williams got a story in this one. He's got a game high 18. This guy's had a great season. Kansas basketball NBA Wednesday coming at Johnny ESPN 730 Eastern Bulls and the Cavs and then at 10 Eastern the Clippers and the Warriors NBA countdown tips off the night at 7 Eastern Bulls Cavs Clips Warriors. Hey John speaking of the NBA we got to send our best out to Scott Pollard yep. who's at Vanderbilt Hospital right now probably watching this game probably not too excited about the way the Jayhawks are playing he's uh, under awaiting a heart procedure a lot of people in the basketball world are thinking about Scott. Yeah, you're watching Scott. We wish, yeah, you, all we the wish you the best, Scott. Yeah. And back away. Dickinson up ahead. Kirby and Nick hit Roger like Ayers. If Rogers in play, it's a good, it's a good play. Side, Furphy off the glass, Dickinson, tip wouldn't fall, another fight for it, Dickinson, that wouldn't fall, Dickinson again, and Texas Tech comes away with it. This is very unlike Hunter Dickinson, this is, to me, the worst game he's played this season. Nothing going right. Timberlake rebounds the McMillan miss. It has been a, a tough goal for Hunter Dickinson. One to eight from the floor. Bill Self can't be pleased with what he's seen from his team offensively, shooting 30% from the floor. Now this team will go to Oklahoma on Saturday. They'll have a few days off. In recent years, Bill Self said he loved the Monday game because it gave them time to recover Tuesday and Wednesday. But nothing matters recovery time wise until you get McCullough back. Shot clock under 10. Tucson. McMillan with Timberlake on. McMillan step back three. Joe Lenardi, his latest edition of Bracketology, had nine Big 12 teams getting in. And Cincinnati one of the first four outs. Deep post position that time, and the foul on Robert Jennings. All oh, Red Raiders in this one. 11.44 to go. Texas Tech by 18. Is it going to happen again here tonight? 8-3 at home against top 10 opponents. By the way, let me add, BYU, Houston, UCF, Cincinnati, Thank you for joining the Big 12. You fit right in. One of the great crowds in college basketball. Cincinnati Saturday for Houston was electric. Deep inside Dickinson. Jackson. That's off the mark. And out of bounds. It'll be Texas Tech basketball. And now Texas Tech starting to double Dickinson and daring Jackson, Timberlake to shoot those trees. How about BYU? You see those crowds out there? Yeah, they've been in one of the best environments 
in college basketball for a while now. Yeah, if I lived it coaching in New Mexico, I know firsthand it's not fun. Williams feed inside. Jennings had it knocked away. Dickinson has it up to Jackson now. That number is Step through and Elmarco Jackson with the deuce. Nicely done. He's playing minutes tonight, so he's got to continue to get confidence. Kansas is shorthanded. They want to make a run in the NCAA tournament. Those those six, seven, eight players have got to start to step up more. No Kevin McCullough tonight as he is out with the knee injury. Dewan Harris hobbled after rolling his ankle this past Saturday. And it's a team that's not especially deep to begin with. Off the glass and good. For Darian Williams, what a performance. He's got 20. He's a sophomore. Again, versatile, tough. We call him undersized, but he doesn't play undersized. Jackson absorbs the contact, and he's fouled. Hey, tomorrow, join us on ESPN 7 Eastern as North Carolina takes on Syracuse in the ACC. And that one comes away at 7 Eastern, and then at 9, it's Old Miss against number 22, Kentucky. All coming at you tomorrow night. That's college basketball on ESPN. Just a couple of years ago, the coach at Old Miss was getting this United Supermarket Arena fired up, wasn't it? Yep. Just here. Yeah. Done a really good job in year one. And Marco was a McDonald's All-American, and... Uh, not to dump on McDonald's All-Americans, but very political. Usually the top five are going to the NBA. And But the thing about El Marco is that he's new to basketball. I think he's going to develop into a good player and to go south. It's just got to happen a little quicker. He's going to make an impact this season. 17-point Texas Tech advantage. Close in on 10 to go. Nice pass. Jennings toss it inside. Finds Williams. Two more. As he had the smaller DeWan Harris on. And a great pass by the sophomore Robert Jennings, who continues to keep improving. And now he's wrestling with Dickinson inside. Look at this. Furphy eventually tracks it down. John, you notice Furphy's not a he's not a guy that gets his own. Look at that. As Timberlake throws it away. Been a frustrating night for Bill Self's team. They've been shut down offensively, shooting 31%. And Fran, one of the things we documented, one of the strengths of this team, it is not shooting the three. So hitting the home run to get back into the game is, is a challenge for Kansas. It, it is, and you just can't keep throwing it into Dickinson, especially tonight. Hey, John, keep in mind, as we're going to see... Michael Jankovic come in. He can shoot it. He can shoot it. Now, he's probably the best shooter on this team. He's a fifth-year walk-on, but he was good enough. Now, I watched Michael in high school. I know his family well. He could have played in the Ivy League after prep year up at Northfield Mount Hermon, but he decided to come and be a Kansas Jayhawk. His dad coached here. And the one thing he's in the game for right now is to shoot the ball. Proud ESPN alum, Buster Olney. Inside. Shot blocked, but Jennings gets fouled, and he'll go to the line. Do they score it? Roger Ayers says no. And keep in mind that even with McCullough healthy, this team has already lost four Big 12 road games. It's Kevin McCullough out for the third time in the last five games with that knee issue. Keep, keep in mind, John, we haven't talked about this much this year. This is a depleted roster, and it started in the summer. Chris Johnson signed. He's now at Texas. He decommitted. Marcus Adams was on campus. He transferred to Gonzaga, then BYU. We all know Morris was dismissed from the team. And Zach Clemens is a 6'10 kid who can help right now, but he decided to redshirt this year. He's sitting on that bench over there. So he would he, help, though, yeah? He would help, but he's going to help next year. This team came into the season depleted. It's a foul. Dickinson from the elbow gets it to go. He's got just five points in this one as he averages a double double 19 and 11, Hunter Dickinson, but five and five in this one. It's been all Texas Tech here tonight.
We talked to Bill Self about his roster, and I said, this is not going to happen again. He said, never. He's going to, he's got recruits coming in. Look at this move. So Self with a nifty move. Jennings knocks it to wall. As Dickinson flies in for the rebound. Murphy's flying. Murphy. Got it to go. Drop bear, dropped one from deep. <laughs> know what a drop bear is, John? I have a vague idea, but I think you're going to need to tell me. We'll educate you. Okay. I have a lot of Kiwi friends. Deed inside of the foul. And Jennings will go to the line when we return. And we'll find out about the drop bear when we come back. I guess you got some help from Johnny Furphy's dad, but Chris Budden, Coach Q, that's a pretty good nickname, the Drop Bear. The Drop Bear, it fits him, right? Like, he, he's nice like a koala, but can, can drop some points on you. Yeah, so, so Dad was over here during the recruiting visit, was explaining to Coach Q what a Drop Bear is, and Coach was like, hey, I like it, we're just going to keep it. So you like, you go into Bourne's. And it has become Furphy mania there. Bill Self told us the other day he has not seen their fan base fall in love with a player in the history of Kansas like they have with his Aussie. It is a Furphy fury. Yes, it is. Yep. By the way, I got some New Zealand basketball friends who reminded me during the break that Kiwis are not Aussies, but are New Zealanders. Yeah. I just wanted to see if they were paying attention, and they were, John. Yes. Under four timeout, we'll have New Zealand folklore for you. That's all <laughs> coming up. I love this kid. This kid is so underrated, man. This backcourt's underrated. As good as you might see in this league, that's too deep. Inside Washington and the throwdown. Well, on the switch out, Dickinson was hanging out with Isaacs. And he was in no position to grab any defensive rebound. Pop Isaacs there. Leading scorer. Sophomore, take a look. Look, 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 look where Dickinson is. And now it's just uh, Williams and Washington all night long inside. They've really dominated the glass. And remember, this Texas Tech team lost three games in a row, but a major reason was they were hit with a serious flu bite. No excuses. Everybody in the league is going hey. That's another scoop. Wow. That's more scoops than Baskin Robbins tonight. Right, you're in timeout. Juan Harris <laughs> with the bucket there. And he's got five. Texas Tech leading it by 16. Okay, Grant McCaslin is intense. He's talking about Tannis on the sideline. I'll tell you, he, we said it last year. He is a great fit for the South Plains and this fan base. He's one of their own. Dickinson for three. Missed everything. We told you Hunter came into tonight 2 of 20 from behind the arc. A reasonably good shooter throughout his career. But uh, right now he's in a slump. Yeah, that's over the last nine games, 2 of 20 into this one. And just has not gone Kansas's way here tonight. Big credit that three-point barrage of the first half. For Texas Tech hit eight threes. Walt can't hit. Fouls on Robert Jennings of Texas Tech. Watch the action inside. You'll see Jennings with the headband. And here comes Marco takes the blow. Easy call. It's been a quiet night for this crew. Not a lot of controversy. Nothing needed. Only profession where you got to start out perfect and improve from there. Jennings has done a great job tonight. Oh, there's too much contact inside. Yep, that's a good call. Now, I think that he got the second guy, and then we got a technical foul. Yep. Bills might be trying to get tossed. We're going to... Oh, he's gone. Great Achilles stepping in 
And Bill Self is gone. Four free throws, John, as you know. Just a side note, I always thought it was tough for a kid to shoot technical fouls. There's nobody on the line, you know? I always wondered about that. That's the way they shoot them in practice, though. They do, but there's not 16,000 in here, you know? Fair enough. A sellout here at United Supermarkets Arena. Bill Self getting two technicals ejected from the game. Now, I want you to watch, John, because I really thought that the defensive guy committed the first foul. He's pushing in there, see, and and then, then Dickinson reacts. And here's my issue, okay? Now, this game has been reasonably well officiated tonight. There is too much contact going on right now in the Big 12. Tonight it's been fine. It'll get better. But that foul needed to be called on Jennings first. And instead, they waited to get the second guy. That's my opinion. I thought Jennings did enough to get called a foul on that. Can't penalize Dickinson for being 7-2. It's not his fault. Toss inside Jennings. And a foul inside as the Red Raider faithful chant overrated at the number 16 in the country. And Kansas has had some difficulty in here through the years. I saw Daryl Dora tonight who played for Coach Knight who hit that big shot at the top of the key about 15 years ago. This kid tonight's been excellent, John. And I mentioned the foul I thought he committed on, Jen, uh, on Dickinson, but it doesn't take away from the fact that he's been excellent defensively on the big fella. It really has worked hard tonight. Jennings hits that one, and it's a 22-point bulge. Well, an undermanned Jayhawks team. And they have struggled. And they have struggled at the offensive end. Credit Texas Tech. And well, their defense. Yeah, the, the formula is, and many coaches in this league have said it this year, protect your home court, steal a couple on the road. Kansas will go to an Oklahoma Sooner team on Saturday. That will be desperate for a resume builder, so they're going to get another shot on Saturday because you know Oklahoma's going to bring their best. Yep. I've said it, John. It's not the best the league has ever been. It's the best league in basketball right now. Well, it's been the best league for five, six years. Uh, nine out of 11. Nine out of 11, according to Ken Palm. But this league doesn't have a number one seed the way, it, you know, Houston will be a number one seed. But Baylor and Kansas... But the balance from 1 to 14 is unlike I've seen in, in a league in a long time. Big East back in 11 had 11 teams in the tournament. South Jennings and he's found. Robert Jennings, this is such a good sign. He played very little last year, played not so much early in the year. But the Devin Cambridge injury has developed Williams, Jennings, Chan uh, uh, Walton. Chance McMillan. Yes, yeah, Kerwin Walton. Kerwin Walton. You see Devin right there. He said he's coming back next year. He started his career at Auburn for Bruce Pearl. Then last year he played with his brother at Arizona State. Something interesting about all these transfers. Every transfer played in the NCAA tournament last year. For Texas Tech you're talking about. Yes. Everybody yeah. that transferred... When Grant got the job, McMillan and the guys I mentioned, Washington, Cambridge, all played in the tournament. Yeah. 
Looks like it's gotten a little chippy. Yeah, and you got to call this now. You, know, you just can't let it get out of control. Yeah. If you're Texas Tech, you don't want any injuries. If you're Kansas, you want to get the heck out of here, get on the plane, get home. Yep. Knowing Bill Self, they normally take two days off, and then they'll gear up for Oklahoma on Saturday. By the way, do you know where you and I are going to be on March 9th? I do. And you cannot get a ticket right now. As yeah. Kansas will head to uh, the Fertitta Center. The Fertitta Center. We have to play with Houston Cougars. What a league. What a tournament it's going to be. The lead is 21 for Texas Tech. They fill in. Out of bounds, Kansas ball. He these are great passes by Pop Isaacs. Timberlake from Paris. A good decision by Joe. They had, a, they had a break and then he decided he didn't want to pinpoint that pass. Pulled it out. Pop Isaacs has just great vision, John. Even the shots that they're not making, he's on target. Isaacs are five assists. All Red Raider is here. A reminder, Big 12 now on ESPN Plus. It is a must-have for Big 12 fans. Coming up tomorrow night, 9 Eastern, 8 Central, UCF at number 19, BYU. If you're a Big 12 fan, you got to have it sign up today. ESPNplus.com slash Big 12 fan. Good a piece of the puzzle with this young man at the line beat for the next three seasons. Yeah, you're not kidding. Yeah. He played uh, AAU basketball with Pop Isaacs in Las Vegas. He went to the famed uh, Bishop Gorman High School. I mean, they list him at 6'5. I'm no judge of height. I'm not sure he's even 6'5. This is a litany of jokes that I could run <laughs> Robert Jennings the stuff and the exclamation point Timberlake inside hands it hits Shots. 26 points for Williams. And Robert Jennings into your living room. Gary Williams with a huge night. And ultimately eight first half threes. That would be a good QB rating right there. And they knocked out threes. By the bushel for the first half. One of those nights. KJ's had about five of those for winning out. Williams jumper to two. Got to save this for Iowa State. Beckett McCaslin loving it. <laughs> Murphy for Timberlake. Well, luckily for Texas Tech, it gets a little easier because they go to Iowa State next. Yeah. 
Good luck with that. Yep. There is not a bigger Red Raider fan in this building than Beckett McCaslin. At one point a couple minutes ago, he had rushed so far into the team area that the ushers had to come tell him to go take his seat. All Texas Tech. He's going to be some fan once he comes out of his shell, Chris. Murphy, left hand, that'll go. Well, Damarian Williams, or I should say Darian Williams, with an amazing game. Darian Williams, the Nevada transfer with 30. What a night. He'll never forget this night. Perfect. Now for the player of the game, brought to you by Phillips 66. Darian Williams, a career-high 30. And how about that? He goes a perfect 12 for 12 from the floor. Got 11 rebounds to go along with it. That is his sixth double-double of the season. Crowd going crazy. Jack Francis... Young man from Austin Anderson High School over in Austin. He was a practice player and now has become a walk, walk on and he's into the game. I like the defensive stance. Just getting down in the stance, knees bent. He gets a rebound. He's in the books. Yes, he is. No club trill for him. Shoot that ball. Oh. Out of bounds, and it'll stay Texas Tech basketball. Eight on the shot clock. Joe Toussaint, Darian Williams. God love it. Francis here. The give off inside and the bucket for Lindsay. Jack Francis with a rebound and an assist in a minute. Beavers inside, had the shot blocked, and now it's Francis. Texas Tech blasts number six, Kansas. And how about that? Unranked teams now 10 and 3 against top 10 opponents. 